Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your support and helping me get to 6,000. I did my raffle yesterday, so I posted the winners. I've already heard from um, two of them. So I'm just waiting on Lisa Benson, I think it was, to email me if you're watching. I don't know what your sign is, but um, yeah. So thank you guys. I'm gonna continue to do giveaways with every um, thousand mark. So I don't know what the next one will be, but I'll announce it at some point. All right, so I'm gonna do cancers for mid-June. Oh my God, we're going into cancer season. I usually like look at these and I pick which one I intuitively feel, but, but today I'm not intuitively feel, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the ant, all right? So we've got ant, let's see what it says. Not the most desirable creature. Um, I'm not a huge fan of ants, but um, I haven't ever pulled this card before and it just resonates. And ants are extremely intelligent creatures. They're like, I think one of the smartest creatures that exist. So we've got focus. I succeed with hard work and determination. Mother Nature's soldiers are swatted, sprayed, and stomped on. Their homes are swept away and their food eliminated, yet they work tirelessly to achieve their mission. Unwavering, they still manage to succeed. Much like Ant, our objectives can sometimes be swept aside. But just like Ant, steadfast determination helps us realize our goals. Apathy and doubt are not in Ant's mindset. There is no victim mentality where they are concerned, only single-minded intention. Practice makes perfect and every undertaking worth doing demands practice. If we were as tenacious with our own goals, there would be no stopping us. Are you dedicated to your purpose? Are you determined to reach your goals? Are you playing the victim? What stops you from moving towards your aspirations? Commit to your goals with the perseverance of ant and you will quickly achieve them. So um, also they're like in a circle here. So I feel there's some sort of like circle, like things circling back around. I don't know. Um, maybe also there could be like an energy of like something bothering you because i don't know because to me ants kind of are a nuisance but um but the spirit of the ant is very determined and someone actually brought something to my attention recently because i was like i always knew like cancer and capricorn like i'm a capricorn like we are polar opposites so i always knew like you pick up a lot of energies of that polar but um I never realized why like actually cancers can be even more hardworking than Capricorns because you guys are cardinal and all the cardinal signs no matter what have that sort of determination when it comes to something that's important to them. So let's get a few more cards about the overall energies here for you guys in mid-June. This one, these two just fell out. Strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation. So I feel like this is the same thing. It's like just continuing to just keep persevering and don't ever get into that victim mode. And we've got goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty and love every part of you. So this thing that you're going through, whatever challenges are happening, whatever obstacles, they're happening so you can find within you your goddess energy. And like the divine feminine, she just creates and she never stops and she honors herself and she honors her journey and she stays focused on the mission that she's supposed to be accomplishing so that's really beautiful i'm going to pull a couple more cards from the sacred healing journey from my good friend and fran angelic revelation 144 i'll put her information below let's see what else we got breaking karmic chains Wow, I've never gotten this card. There says marriage certificate getting broken, all right? So you could be breaking some karmic chains. There could be people in your world that are breaking karmic chains. There is like a lot of planetary action going on right now. Um, doorway to spirit, divine connection with God, source, and creator. I feel this is also saying the best way to break karmic chains is to like turn to your source, to like you know, don't talk to people, don't ask people, like the best way to break a karmic chain is to go to the highest up, the God, the angels, whatever, you know, spirituality you connect with and your source, your creator and trust the path that you're on, okay? Let's get one more here. Light leading the way. Yeah, turn to the light, turn to the thing that's being illuminated for you and just let that light guide your way. Um, but with the karmic chains, I feel like you can't expect the person you're dealing with to break free of karmic chains, whether that's drugs, alcohol, a marriage, um, 
a job that they're miserable in unless you do that so all we could do is focus on ourselves and you're the divine feminine so you light the way okay you are the light paver for your masculine with that being said we're gonna get into your love reading so i'm gonna make some hefty piles here i'm gonna use this mermaid tarot for the masculine side we're gonna use the rainy rouge tarot for your side we're going to use um, Twin Flame Shadows from uh, Mystic Moon. Wow, you guys just got the same as Sagittarius in your thinking space. That's where I was going to put it. Four of Wands. So you both are maybe thinking about this Twin Flame connection, your home, your foundation, your family, your the people you live with, um, building a solid foundation, okay? So you and Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to use my Places, Faces, and Memories deck. I'm going to use Confessions of a Runner from Angelic Revelation 144. This is a really amazing deck that she just sent me and I love it. It's so cute too. I love the size of it. Okay, actually I already pulled shadows, so I'm only going to pull, I'm only going to put two of these here, and I'll put one Fire and Ice Lenormand, also from Angelic Revelation 144, and then I'm going to use my Moody Moon messages for your guys' current, like, emotional state. Okay? Alright, I want to say Sagittarius, I'm doing Cancer, but there was some mirroring already going on with the Sag reading, so. Alright, so... Where are you guys at in your mental space? We already know that you have four of wands. Thinking about that. Chasing sunsets. I feel this is about that light. You know, looking for the sun, looking for the beauty, looking for that sense of calming, sense of spiritual connection. And then we have abandon. This situation has triggered all my abandonment wounds. So you guys have some abandonment wounds that... You might even feel like you're chasing this person. You're chasing this bliss that you had and you just can't seem to get it. And you feel like they've left you behind. You feel like your twin flame has left you behind, okay? So where are they at in there? Um, you know what, though? I wanted to get some messages. So I'm going to have to put my old souls in separation here on their side, too. In their mental space, we have temperance, Sagittarius. They're trying to get some balance. They're trying to get some healing. They're trying to transmute their energy, maybe from toxic things. Um, they're trying to moderate things. They're, they're trying to get balance. Was this cancer had that on the other side too, which is weird. Fixated. They may have felt like they, look, this fixated card has alcohol. Like I feel like they were partaking in some excess drinking or something like that, and they're trying to... Um, balance that out and then they have can we still fix what is broken so I feel like they're focused a lot on the parts of you guys that weren't working they're fixated on all the negative toxic things instead of believing in this connection but the temperance is a light that's shining it's starting to heal that part of them that has the doubt okay and then we have letter number 27 thoughtful contemplative communication so they might end up expressing this to you in some way. They may have already expressed something or you might have expressed something to them that made them feel like you guys are too broken or made them fixated on the negative parts of this relationship, okay? So um, I feel like there was some kind of communication or there will be some kind of communication that has affected their mental state, all right? Or is their way of expressing their mental state. In your emotional space, though, we have easy breezy. So you might be feeling abandoned, but emotionally you're feel, you're acting kind of maybe like you don't care. Or maybe you're trying to embody this easy breezy energy, okay? Going with the flow. You're just like, all right, well, you abandoned me, but hey, what's another like um, nail in the coffin? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, here we go again. I know that cancer like is usually about the mother so you might have mother abandonment wounds and maybe this is just like oh here we go again my mom's abandoning me again um and then we have viewing party so you might be looking at something or let me see what this says and then we have ace of cups so you might be seeing things that are really triggering for you triggering your abandonment wounds and then 
it's like opening up your heart chakra to all these emotions that you have to deal with. So there's something that you viewed that's like made you feel more love, but also made you almost like pouring out. You might have been really emotional and you might be like back and forth between being really emotional and then being like very easy breezy about it. I feel like you guys are also trying to get your balance in a way, like mirroring them. And then in their heart space, did you put a spell on me? I can't stop thinking about you and it's driving me insane. They might almost like resent the fact that you have so much power over their thoughts because we have thoughtful, contemplative and communication. So they might feel like they want to like communicate to you, but it's almost like you make them like obsessed in a way that they're not comfortable, imbalanced. All right they make they feel de almost dependent on this situation so it makes them feel like off kilter and then we have six of cups so they're very nostalgic they feel like this is a soulmate connection they want a reconciliation i feel this relationship makes them feel a little bit like unstable in some way okay um let's see I was going to pull this other deck to see if I could get caught, whatever. All right, so soul space. Um, let's see where you're at in your soul space. The Hierophant. I feel like you guys just want stability too. This is Taurus energy. You're, spe you're seeking a spiritual solution though. You feel when you like look at the night sky or you're in the dark or the moon, you just want that spiritual connection. You might look think about them when you look at the moon then we have evolving growing changing and becoming which is the moon phases like which you guys are ruled by the moon so i feel like you're just allowing yourself to go on this spiritual journey you're being inspired by the moon and the night sky and the lunar cycles and you're just kind of like in that cancer energy which is good because you're in your own energy I am avoiding sex right now as I can't handle intimacy. I feel so much now and I am scared I will fall too deep. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they're scared of this connection because they feel too much and it makes them feel imbalanced here. Embarrassment. And they might be like embarrassed about their like um, intimacy issues. They don't want to show you. They don't want you to see their shortcomings in that way. And then we have five of wands, but it was kind of reversed. So I feel like this is like a big inner turmoil, inner conflict that they have regarding intimacy, regarding something that they're like embarrassed about. You really seeing some side of them that they try to keep hidden, all right? I'm just going to pull one last card from Angelic Revelation 144, the Emperor and Empress Divine Love Oracle and see one last message that they have for you. I don't want to doubt your... I don't want to doubt you, my love, but sometimes I feel like I can't really rely on anyone to keep their word. I have endured many trials and tribulations in this life. I have a trusting personality, but I've been wounded many times. Please forgive me for doubting you. I know that your heart is pure. I just ask you to handle mine with care as it is very fragile now, and my defensiveness is my protection. I want to let you in, but I need to feel safe. They have an issue with letting you in, but the other thing is, this doesn't mean you go and coddle them. They need to figure this out for themselves. You're dealing with your abandonment wounds. It's not just about them, you know? Um, you guys are maybe mirroring each other. You might have the same wounds, but both of you are here to break these um, bonds of codependency. So this doesn't mean you go in and try to fix and coddle them. This just means that you allow them to work it out while you work yourself out and you, you know, gain your spiritual wisdom and they'll follow. You're almost like their spiritual leader, their spiritual counsel in this way. And you will just have to inspire them with your growth and your changing and your becoming, okay? All right, so that's your reading, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.